Hallowed arena, one of the great British sporting moments occurred. Dennis Taylor, in front of viewers of 18 million, won the final frame against Steve Davis to become the 1985 world champion. Today, 25 years on, in a celebration of that occasion, it's Davis versus Taylor again. The rematch. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this very special session of snooker. We're turning back the clock to bring out two legends of the game who went toe-to-toe -to -toe in 1985. You were watching, so was I, and so were the Crucible crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, first of all, a true hero of the modern game. He won the Grand Prix in 1984. He won the Masters in 1987, beating Alex Higgins. What a match. 19 million of us tuned in in 1985. He was 8-0 down. It was the black ball. It was after midnight. He is the pride of Northern Ireland, Dennis Taylor! <laughs> Dennis, glad to see the uh, glasses are getting smaller. Um, first thing, what a fabulous uh, performance to, to miraculously appear in the quarterfinals here yesterday. I thought your introduction was absolutely spot on, Rob. <laughs> oh, Dennis, uh, those memories from 25 years ago, they must be as fresh now as the moment they happened. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, no one thought back then that we'd still be talking about that final and uh, it's just incredible how they keep remembering it. And Steve summed it all up. He said he'll remember that one more than the sixth that he won. And Steve's been a great sport. We do a lot of things together and he's an absolute uh, gentleman and he takes it all in good spirit because really Snooker was the winner that night really. I happen to be the, the lucky one that knocked the black in. And uh, we've seen some fantastic performances and a great comeback by Robbo actually against Martin Gould from 11-5 down in the second round. But where did you draw the mental strength from to come back from such a hard margin that you were behind? Well, the thing was I played well throughout the whole World Championship that year. In the final, Steve never gave me a chance. You know, he kept me in the seat for the whole of the first session. I feel silly talking serious with these glasses on. <laughs> Only you could get away with it. <laughs> and uh, I just knew if I got a chance, you know, never, never give up. And I didn't give up. And I played uh, some of the best snooker of my uh, career in that evening session to get back to just be two behind. And uh, yeah, and it was just amazing how I uh, managed to win the final frame because both of us, we'd gone completely. Uh, we couldn't knock the balls in the pockets. And uh, well, we just didn't know who was going to win in the end. And uh, as I say, I was uh, fortunate enough to send that little black ball into the corner pocket. Well, I'll tell you what, you're under pressure today because, my goodness me, how he's rolled back the years this week. I thought his match against John Higgins was out of this world. Uh, I think all the players were so proud of him. Uh, even John Higgins was so gracious in defeat. Um, and it took a lot out of him, and he just didn't perform against Neil Robertson the way he did against John. But to beat the current world champion, uh, I think only Steve Davis could have done that. What a champion, Dennis Taylor. Dennis, enjoy yourself. And now, please welcome what a fantastic 12 days he's had here at the Crucible. He is one of Snooker's greats, the ultimate ambassador for his sport. This was his 30th year at the Crucible. He's won a record 81 professional titles. Six times a world champion, six times a UK champion. 25 years ago he was the Nugget, now he's simply a legend. Steve Davis!
Good work, Steve. Thank you. Some of these products work quite quickly. <laughs> I'm not sure the hair was that big uh, 25 years ago. Uh, before we talk about uh, the final in 85, what an unbelievable 12 days you've had here. Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed myself. It's been great. And um, yeah, I'd like to thank all of the fans that have been coming along to watch. I, I really felt the warmth of the... It was marvellous. But obviously we're not here to, today to talk about that. <laughs> well, I know those memories of 85 have uh, lingered long and it's a subject very close to your heart, actually. In fact, I'm sure you enjoy speaking about 85 more than your six uh, world titles from that decade. Um, it was just an iconic moment in British sport. Could you take in the enormity of what was happening at the time? No, not really. <laughs> well, Dennis certainly enjoyed it, but uh, he said that snooker was the winner that night. Would you agree? Uh, uh, um... Yes, I think so, yeah. I, I, I think that you know, it, it captured the imagination of the public and it was marvellous uh, and I was so pleased for Dennis. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think snooker, well, yeah, I definitely think you know, it was part of folklore history now and, and to be involved in it was marvellous and to think, as I've said many times before and we've talked about it, that so many people remember where they were when they watched that match. How amazing and how, how much of a pleasure to be involved. I know one, 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 one loss, but to be involved in something where so many people remember, is, is, you, can't, you can't buy things like that. Marvellous. Amazing. And is it true, just finally, before we see this epic one-frame showdown, that you kicked Dennis off the practice table earlier this week because you had a quarter-final to contest? <laughs> Obviously, if I had made the semi-finals, this wouldn't have been happening. Uh, it, would, it, would have been, you know, it would have been a problem with it. So, at 7-1 down in the morning session, I finish my session, I go back to my room, and all of a sudden I've got to mentally prepare for the evening session. I walk in at 6 o'clock to have my practice before the match in the evening. Who's on the practice table preparing for the next day? Dennis. <laughs> what a sign of confidence building that was for me. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen... Steve Davis, Dennis Taylor, let's play snooker! <laughs> we'll turn that round. Did he look like Mick Hucknell with that wig on? <laughs> Uh, is it a quick photo? Oh, okay, right. Then. Oh, I went up on the tiptoes, I remember. You? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's funny. Oh, the cramp. Okay. Cramp. <laughs> cramp. Are you going to toss, Arian? Yeah. No, I know what you're going to say. No, no. <laughs> well done. It's a head. It's a head. It is. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> The first frame, Dennis Taylor. What do you mean the first frame? Yeah, that was the only frame. 